The European Union is a group of European countries that cooperate politically and economically. It began in 1956 when six European countries, Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands and West Germany set up the European Economic Community. These countries were still suffering after the Second World War. They knew that if they worked together, each country could improve its own economy and make Europe a more stable place to live. The benefits of this economic and political union were soon obvious, and other countries wanted to join. The EEC began to expand. In 1993, the European Economic Community became the European Union, and since then, it has continued to grow. Today, the Union is the largest economy in the world, accounting for 20% of global imports and exports. But becoming a member isn't easy. If a country wants to join, it needs to pass several tests. It needs to guarantee democracy and human rights and show it has a strong economy. Membership of the EU also needs the backing of the people. If a country's population voted against membership, then that country wouldn't be allowed in. But once a country becomes a member, they can participate at all levels of the Union. This is the headquarters of the European Council in Brussels. The leaders of each member state meet here at least twice every six months. While they are here, they agree on the EU's goals. The European Commission suggests new legislation that will achieve these goals. Each member state has a commissioner, and each commissioner is in charge of a different department. The European Parliament discusses and votes on new legislation proposed by the Commission. Each country elects its own members of European Parliament. These are three of the EU's main institutions, but the EU is much bigger than this. It can be very complicated too. After all, it isn't easy to please every country. Some countries, for example, believe the EU has too much power and that each country should have more control over its own laws and regulations. But other countries want the EU to have more power. They believe a stronger union is better for each individual country. But in general, the EU has been a success. It has encouraged a spirit of cooperation and collaboration on a continent that used to be much more divided. As its motto says, these nations are all united in diversity.